Hi guys! Welcome to my class! Our topic for today is to estimate sums and difference. You are going to learn it here the easy way. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe so that you will be kept updated on the next math lesson. Then, like and share so that you can also help other students. We are going to learn today how to use number sense and benchmark fractions to estimate sums and difference. Number sense refers to a group of basic math concepts including how to deal with quantities and number comparisons or understanding. While benchmark fractions are fractions that can be measured or judged when measuring fractions. Like in this example, the total number of a portion in the number line is 14. And our fraction is 2 over 14. If the numerator is much smaller than the denominator, we are going to round the fraction down to zero. While if the numerator is about half of the denominator, we are going to round the fraction to one half. However, in this topic, we are talking about fractions that are rounded up to whole numbers. So if the numerator is less than half of the denominator, we are going to round down the fraction to zero. Moreover, if the numerator is more than half of the denominator, we are going to round it up to 1. How much more if the numerator is almost as large as the denominator? Then, we are going to round it up to 1 also. Let us work on this example so that you will be guided. Estimate the mixed numbers and round to the nearest whole numbers. 4 and 1 over 5 plus 3 and 4 over 5. We are going to represent the fractions through number line, and we are going to apportion the number line according to the number of the denominator, so that everything will be clear for you. The first mixed number is 4 and 1 over 5, so the arrow will point to number 1 on the number line. Accordingly, 1 over 5 will be round down to 0, so 4 plus 0 will still be 4. The second mixed number is 3 and 4 over 5, so the arrow will point to number 4 on the number line. Since the numerator of 4 over 5 is as large as the denominator, therefore, 4 over 5 will be round up to 1. Accordingly, 3 plus 1 will give us 4. And 4 plus 4 will give us 8. Therefore, the estimate of mixed numbers 4 and 1 over 5 plus 3 and 4 over 5 will give us 8. Let us work on another example so that you can understand it well. Estimate the mixed numbers and round to the nearest whole numbers. 5 and 3 fourths minus 1 and 1 fourths. We are going to represent the fractions through the number line so that you can figure it out. The first fraction is 3 over 4 so we are going to point our arrow on number 3. The numerator is as large as the denominator, therefore, it will round up to 1. Accordingly, 5 plus 1 will give us 6. The second fraction is 1 over 4, so we are going to point our arrow on number 1. And the numerator is much smaller than the denominator. Accordingly, 1 over 4 will be round down to 0. Therefore, 1 plus 0 will give us 1. Furthermore, the whole numbers we've got is 6 minus 1, and it will give us 5. Let us work on another example so that you can fully understand the lesson. Estimate the mixed numbers and round to the nearest whole numbers. 6 and 7 over 8 plus 2 and 2 over 8. We are going to represent the fractions through the number line, and we are going to apportion the number line according to the number of the denominator. Our first fraction is 7 over 8, so we are going to point our arrow to number 7 on the number line. And number 7 is much closer to number 8, so we are going to round it up to number 1. If 7 over 8 will be round up to 1, it will give us 6 plus 1, and the answer is 7. However, the second fraction is 2 over 8, so we are going to point our arrow to number 2 on the number line. Number 2 is much closer to 0 than number 8 which is the whole thing. 
So, 2 over 8 will be round down to 0. Accordingly, 2 plus 0 will give us 2. Therefore, 7 plus 2 will give us 9. It is easy, right? Let us work on another example so that you can hit it off. Aliasha watch movie for 3 and 5 over 6 hours. Then, play Mobile Legend for 2 and 4 over 6 hours. About how much time did Aliasha spend together in these two activities? Round each fraction to the nearest whole numbers. So, we are going to add 3 and 5 over 6 to 2 and 4 over 6. Since the numerator 5 is as large as the denominator number 6, we are going to round it up to 1. In the second fraction, the numerator 4 is more than half of the denominator 6. So, we are going to round it up also to 1. Moreover, 3 plus 1 will give us 4, and 2 plus 1 will give us 3. Accordingly, 4 plus 3 will give us 7. Therefore, Aliasha spent about 7 hours in the two activities. On this regard, we have met our goal for today's lesson. We have learned how to use number sense and benchmark fractions to estimate sums and differences. To wrap it up, if we are going to round a fraction into whole number, just remember that if the numerator is much smaller than the denominator, round the fraction down to zero. However, if the numerator is less than half of the denominator, we are still going to round down the fraction to zero. Furthermore, if the numerator is more than half of the denominator, we are going to round up the fraction to one. And if the numerator is almost as large as the denominator, then you know that it will be round up to 1. Like in this example, the numerator of the first fraction is much smaller than the denominator, so we are going to round it down to 0. Accordingly, 4 plus 0 will give us 4. And the numerator of the second fraction is as large as the denominator. So, we are going to round it up to 1. Accordingly, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Therefore, the estimate of the mixed numbers is 4 plus 4 which is equal to 8. It is easy, right? To conclude our lesson for today, I want you to always remember, What His Highness, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahayan, may his soul rest in peace, wrote for us, Education is like a lantern which lights your way in a dark alley. Sheikh Zayed wrote and left this quote for us because he wanted the youth to give importance to education. His quote will hand it down from generation to generation, but the genuine concern of Sheikh Zayed for his nation will always remain. And the desire of Sheikh Zayed's heart will surely be realized in the succeeding generations. And to encapsulate our lesson for today, I want you to always remember that life is a math equation. You cannot get the most of it if you cannot convert the negatives into positive. I do hope you have learned a lot for today's lesson and you find it easy. Till next math lesson. Catch ya later guys. See ya. Check Math Brainiacs for more lessons, okay?